Welcome to the Teacher Tips series, focusing on our wardrobe, let's talk about what to wear to school. Hello friends, my name is Rachel, welcome back to my channel, this is a good little teach, and I am a primary school teacher. Yep, you better believe it. I have been teaching for 10 years now, which quite frankly is a little bit crazy. And I have worked out how to dress like a teacher and not look super frumpy and not feel like I'm wearing another skin or somebody else's clothes, but actually feeling like myself so I feel super comfortable in who I am and my gifts and my talents. So welcome, welcome. And I'm super excited to talk to you about this topic and I hope that you will learn something by the end of it too. So we are going to chat teacher outfits. Now in my first couple of years of teaching I was young. I was like 21, 22, 23. I didn't really know my style. I didn't really know what clothes I like to wear or what clothes suited my body and so I just kind of wore what felt good and in that I made some fashion faux pas especially for teaching. Over the last 10 years is. I have really like found myself I found the style that I like I found clothes that I like to wear and I've been able to make sure that my whole wardrobe is suiting me when I started teaching I decided that I wanted to buy a teacher wardrobe so I had like this small amount of clothes it was a couple shirts and pants and things like that that were my teacher wardrobe and they just felt so unoriginal and yucky and by like two weeks of having them I didn't wear them anymore because I didn't really like them so I moved away from having a teacher wardrobe but left me with a whole wardrobe of clothes where I was like I don't know how to wear them to work so this is what this video is all about we're not going to have a separate teacher wardrobe we want a whole wardrobe where we can wear things to school we can wear things on the weekend we can wear things on holidays because we don't just want to buy a piece of clothing for one specific thing unless it's maybe like a wedding or a special occasion but we want to get the most use out of our clothes. You might like to come up with your own set of rules. Now I have my own set of rules that I kind of, when I shop, that's kind of what I look to. So basically it's, you can't see up it, you can't see down it, you can't see through it. And that basically covers my whole entire life. I don't, if I bend over, I don't want you to see down my top. I don't want to wear things so short that you can see up it. And I don't want things that are see-through so that you can see through it or you know if I'm buying something see-through I want to be able to wear something underneath it so it's not provocative or anything like that like I said you might like to come up with your own rules there might be more into it than that like you might be a super fan of neutral colors and kind of everything that you buy is a real kind of capsule style wardrobe where everything fits together really nicely and that's what you really like or you might be a bit of a maximalist when it comes to your wardrobe and I love that for you lots of bright colors separate pieces things that you can put together but if there's lots of color and lots of different styles that you like to play with both options are totally fine it's honestly what suits you I get a lot of inspiration from Pinterest so I kind of go through my Pinterest board I have a board at the moment called recreatable outfit ideas that I'm kind of looking at towards like autumn winter thinking what kind of outfit outfits do I want to wear? What's my style? I've also found over the last year, I'm in my early 30s now and my style is kind of changing again. I'm kind of looking for those staple pieces that I can wear lots of different ways and moving away from what I kind of wore all the time when I was in my late 20s, which I think is normal. You don't have to wear the same thing that you wore 10 years ago today, unless you want to. All right, well, let's take this show from my bed to my wardrobe and we'll talk about some outfits that I have in there or some key pieces that I have bought that I like to wear a whole heap of different ways. Welcome to the wardrobe. It is a little bit messy at the moment because I have some boxes up here that have my jumpers and coats and things like that because I am about to do my autumn winter wardrobe swap where I pack away my summer things and I bring out my winter things even though that is not like it's not a whole heap because shirts like this I would wear in summer and winter. It does help with the jumpers and the coats and things like that to take them out during the summer spring months. 
because I'm not going to need them. So I'm going to pull out some essentials that I think you need for your teacher wardrobe. You can literally find these probably in any color. Buy a color that suits you. I like to wear white, so I will wear white to school. I know white is a little bit controversial to wear to school or if you're a mum or things like that, but you know what? They invented nappy sand for a reason and I use it all the time and it has never failed me yet. First item that I think you need in your teacher wardrobe is a blazer. And friends, I bought this blazer from Kmart recently and I am so excited to wear her over the next couple of months. I find Kmart sizing a little bit weird. I always have to size up like one or two sizes, but that's okay. So I bought this in a size 16. It's a gray pinstripe. It was $38, which I'm a Southeast Queensland girly and it's really not cold for that long. So I don't want to spend $200, $300 or even like $100 on a blazer when I know I'm only going to get like two months of wear out of it. $38 was absolutely perfect. This one is new. You can buy it in Kmart at the moment. That blazer, I can wear a whole stack of different ways, which I absolutely love. I could wear it with a full black outfit, a full white outfit, a colorful outfit, like even something like this would look really cute together, like a nice pink top, gray blazer, maybe like a black skirt that I've got on. Oh, I kind of love that outfit. While I've got this out, I think the next thing that you need in your teacher wardrobe is some good t-shirts in lots of different colors. These are so versatile. Like for example, the outfit that I'm wearing today, I've got a black skirt. I pop this t-shirt on and I've got a whole new outfit and it's nice and easy, but still looks really dressy. I can wear them under blazers, under jumpers. They're super versatile. The ones I really like are from Country Road because I just find they're really soft and thick they're not going to have holes in them which some of the cheaper brands can do the next staples that I have in my teacher wardrobe that I have been really enjoying recently are the collared shirts I was not a big fan of collared shirts for a long time until maybe about a year ago when I started pairing them with my skirts like this outfit I have on and I just think they are really fun you can buy collared shirts from absolutely anywhere this one is from Uniqlo and it's one of the most worn shirts in my wardrobe. This one is from Dish. It is linen and it's just, it's just a really lovely top. It's nice and oversized. Goes really well with things. I would invest in some, maybe some white collared tops, some blue. This is like a blue stripe if I come up nice and close, like a blue stripe collared top because they're just, they go with everything. All right, so I'm pulling out all of the neutral things in my wardrobe, but that's for a reason because most of these things would go together. Pants. These are some very comfy culottes. If you can find a pair of nice flowy pants, I think you have made it because these are some of the comfiest pants I own. And you know, those Thursdays or Fridays where you're like, I just want to dress for comfort. These still look professional, but they're like wearing pajamas. As well as I've got a nice slip skirt here. This is a really easy piece to dress up or dress down. So especially come autumn winter, I'm really excited to style this piece because I love the silk skirt chunky knit trend, which is I think an outfit you could wear to school, regardless like school and weekend. You just kind of have to change up the shoes. On a weekend, I would wear some sneakers with it, but maybe to school I would wear some ballet flats. So sometimes an outfit, like you just have to change one thing about it to make it a bit more professional. The last item we are gonna talk about is the classic teacher dress. And honestly, as long as a dress you can't see up or down it or through it, you have made it with the teacher dress. For example, this is the Winnie dress from Feather and Noise. Super cute, super easy to wear. I love the puff sleeves. This is like your quintessential teacher dress. It's also a maxi dress and I love the color. Actually, I reckon that gray blazer would look super nice over this dress too, don't you think? The other kind of teacher dress that you could wear, again, I really love this style. I have a few dresses in this style and it's a maxi dress again. It's got puffy sleeves, but you're not gonna see up and down it all through it. So it's perfect to wear to school, but also it's casual enough that I could wear on the weekends. So to wear a dress Dress like this to school I would be pairing it with some nice ballet flat to make it a little bit more professional but to wear it on the weekend I would just wear a pair of flats with a pair of sandals 
or even a pair of sneakers and you've got a whole different look. Okay, so I know this has been a really quick video, but I hope I've given you some ideas and maybe some tips and tricks as to what kind of clothes that you could buy or maybe what kind of outfits that you could also style for your teacher wardrobe. Don't worry, because we are going to continue to talk about how to dress for school, how to dress like a teacher over the next couple of weeks. So I know this video was a bit short, but think of it like a teaser trailer. There's gonna be more outfits, more ideas, all of those kind of things. So don't you worry. Okay, friend, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I am so excited to be back in the YouTube world again. If you wanna find me in other places, you can subscribe to my Substack, which is a weekly email full of outfit inspiration directed at teachers. You can also find me on Instagram at a good little teach where I would love to see you. That is the end of the video. I can't wait for part two next week. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you then. Bye friends.